Welcome back guys, just a quick video here. I picked up the Jumper T Pro, the Express LRS edition with the internal one watt module. And I just ran into an issue and I wanted to pass along the fix to you guys. So even if you set up your model correctly in Edge TX and have the uh, internal module set to CRSF like it should be for Express LRS, Let's hop into the model here. So we have the internal module set to CRSF like it's supposed to be. We can go ahead and back out of this. All right, we're gonna dive into the Lewis script by long pressing the menu button and open up agent light and this is what you're met with it's searching for devices you already have the internal module set to crsf uh, to work with um, express lrs and it's still not finding anything so there's a quick fix and that's what i'm going to show you right here shout out to deadbite uh, on the uh, express lrs discord channel he was able to help me uh, get my issue quickly resolved. It's pretty simple. What you need to do, if yours isn't populating with the uh, TBS Agent Light, uh, you're just going to dive into the main system menu. All right. All right, it's page six. So this is where the key you want to make the change. So mine was set to 400,000 baud rate. I just uh, changed mine to the 115, 200. And then went back into uh, Agent Light. And I was able to read my internal module. If you guys have that issue there, and you can go ahead and actually cycle back. Once it populates, go ahead and exit back out. And we'll go ahead and page back over here. Looks like it's still working, so uh, that's just a quick update for you guys. I know you're excited to get your new radio and bind up to your models. Uh, this one isn't available yet in the configurator. I believe they put a merge request in. If you do want to bind your uh, Express LRS quads to this or receivers, you will want to make sure that you've updated the receivers to the latest two version of the software. I believe we're on 2.2 .2 currently. Um, but I don't think you'll be able to use a bind phrase with this just yet. So you will have to manually bind your receivers. Hope this helps, guys. Stay tuned. I've got a comparison video coming up as well as a, a full review here on the Jumper T Pro Internal Express LRS. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.